In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the new Elementor widgets we've created, as well as our new sections interface that allows you to insert pre-built sections that have configured widgets in them. This allows you to very quickly put together really beautiful sales pages and landing pages within the BuddyBoss theme. The motivation behind doing this is that currently the BuddyBoss theme styles all the social content really beautifully. And many of our customers are also trying to create sales pages and landing pages and marketing sites. And our goal is to make that as easy as possible for you by creating these pre-built beautiful Elementor sections. Some sections are using existing Elementor widgets that we've skinned to look really beautiful in our theme. And other sections, when necessary, are using brand new Elementor widgets that we've created. After updating to the latest version of BuddyBoss theme, when you go into edit any Elementor page, you'll see this new BuddyBoss icon that you can click and it will pop open the sections interface. So you can see we have a lot of sections built for you and you can go in here and view sections by category. And we also have a pages interface where you can insert pre-built pages. A page is basically a bunch of sections with their own widgets pre-configured. As of today, August 7th, 2020, we have one pre-built page, which is the user dashboard. It's a really cool page that shows information relevant to the logged in user. I have another tutorial all about the user dashboard. And as you can see here, we have a ton of pre-built sections using our various widgets. For the remainder of this tutorial, I'll be going through these various sections and the new custom widgets that we've created. So to start quickly, I'm just gonna show you all the different sections that we've just added. So you can see this is an about template and we have multiple variations of it. And then these are call to actions. So you can see we have multiple call to action sections that look really nice in our theme. These are our comparison table sections. So for example, if you wanted to sell membership tiers, you might want to use a comparison table and customize the content in it. Here's another variation. These are the contact form sections. And these are using Elementor's already existing contact form widget. So this can connect with gravity forms and various other form builders. Here I'm showing you content pages. So basically an image and some content next to each other in various styles. You can already start to tell that by using these sections, it's going to really make it easy for you to build really beautiful landing pages. These are stats pages. FAQ. Another FAQ style. And another FAQ style. This is a feature list. Another style for a feature list. Another style and a fourth feature list style. Again, very useful to take the section and put it on some kind of landing page. Maybe you mix this with an FAQ and a pricing page altogether. Here I'm showing pre-built footer styles. So here's one, second style, another footer style. And after I show off all these sections, I'm gonna go in and show how to configure a lot of them and show how to configure our custom widgets. Here's a gallery. These are guarantee sections. This is very helpful in getting people to feel comfortable purchasing a membership to your site. Here I'm showing some various header styles that we've created. These are hero sections. So this is similar to a header, except that it's bigger. It's kind of like a really huge header and this can work really well on a home page or a landing page. Another beautiful hero, another hero style. And once I show you how to configure this stuff, you will see that all of these can be imported in just a few seconds. Logo display, multi-column display where we have an image on one side and 
some content in the second column. Another multi-column. Here's a pricing page, also really useful for selling memberships. You can have different pricing tiers and display that information and link it up to a membership plugin. Another style for a pricing page, another really nice style, and another one. Review sections. So if you have users who are fans of your brand, you can get some testimonials from them and use this section to display that on a landing page. And here's another variation. Tabbed content, really useful for showing off perhaps course content or anything that you want. Another tab style. And last but not least, testimonials. So I showed the reviews. This is another way of presenting user feedback. So once I show you how easy it is to import the stuff and customize it, I think you guys are really gonna love this. Now you can quickly assemble really stunning sales pages and landing pages and marketing pages using the Buddy Boss theme. You don't need to install a second theme. All of this works out of the box with Elementor. With your current theme, you just update to the latest version and you'll have all this. All right, so let's edit Testimonials 3 just as an example. So I'm gonna click Edit with Elementor to edit this page. I'm going to delete this and start fresh. So I click the Buddy Boss icon and I want to add a testimonial section to this page. So I can scroll through here and find it or I can go on the left and find the testimonials category and I want testimonials three. So I just click insert and just like that it's inserted in the page. So this section contains a widget. So if I click that widget. It's the testimonials carousel. And from there, I can open this up and modify the content of this widget. And I could go down here and pick another section. So let's say I want a pricing page. I can go for pricing and let's say I want this one. I can click insert. And it's going to add this section to the page using this widget, the pricing table, with some pre-built content that you can go ahead and modify. So that's how you insert a section. Now I wanna go through and show you some of the new custom widgets that we've added. So header bar has actually been in the theme for a while. Some of you may already be using it. If I go into any of our custom Elementor headers, you can see that they have this profile dropdown with these items in here. That is coming from our already existing header bar widget. And then if I go into the dashboard, I have another tutorial that goes in detail how to configure this dashboard and customize all the widgets, but this is using a lot of our new widgets. So we have profile completion widget showing up here. Some of you may already be using our WordPress profile completion widget that goes into the WordPress sidebar. We now have an Elementor version of that. Dashboard intro is showing up here, but you could place this on any page you want. Dashboard grid is showing up here. It's just a really beautiful grid of items that you can use to lead people into any content, but you could use this any way you want. This is a learn dash activity widget and forum activity. And then we have some social widgets here, forums, activity, and members. Again, if you watch our dashboard video, I go into detail about how to configure all of these social widgets and learn dash course grid. For those of you using learn dash, we actually have a learn dash course grid widget. Now this is not the default learn dash archive. This is actually an elementary widget that can be customized and can be even given various skins like this. And then we have some other types of widgets that we've created that are really just layout type widgets because we created these designs for these sections that we knew would be useful for marketing pages. And some of these sections, the, the style that we wanted to go with didn't exist as widgets in Elementor already. So we created our own that worked for the design style we wanted to go for. So one is this tab content widget. So if I view one of our tab sections here, I can click edit with Elementor. And you can see this is using our new tab content widget. So I can add items. I can go in and edit the content that's in each tab and I can pick a style for it. And if I go into the style tab here, I have lots of other options. I can totally customize the way this looks. 
So there's sort of two ways of getting into this widget. So one way is to go in here and find the Buddy Boss section. Let me delete this. We can add this tapped content widget and that works, but you can see the content is just kind of blank. So it's gonna take some work to configure it all. That's why we have our sections where when we insert it from here, we've already added really beautiful content to get you started. Coming back to our new widgets, we also have reviews as I mentioned. So I can add the reviews widget in here and we have lots of options to customize it. But again, if you go in and insert the reviews section, let's say I pick this one, that's gonna be a lot nicer of a starting point for you because we're adding in this pre-built content and making everything look beautiful. So you can mix and match. You can put any widgets on a page. You can stack a bunch of sections and then add some custom widgets it's really up to you. This is very flexible. And then another layout widget that we created is the gallery widget. So same story. I can paste the gallery widget in here and start adding images in it. And it's got this nice carousel style. We have lots of slider options and styling options. And same story. If you prefer, you can go in here and pick gallery and insert our pre-built section that gives you some default data and our preferred styling options. In a moment, I'm gonna show you how to set up custom headers and heroes and footers. Before I do that, I do wanna mention which page template to use in Elementor to get this nice edge to edge kind of view. So I'm gonna click edit with Elementor. And if you create a page in Elementor and insert some sections by default, it's going to use the default page layout, which is going to look like this. So it has the page title in here and with a lot of the sections that may not look very nice to be like this. So I recommend going in here and setting it to Elementor full width. If you want to create a landing page that's kind of got blocks like this, I think that is a cleaner look. All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up an Elementor hero or header. So if I go into the WordPress admin, we're going to go into Elementor templates theme builder. And note this video is from August 7th, 2020. Elementor is about to release a redesign of their theme builder. So if you're using Elementor sometime in the future, it may look totally different from this. Even after they make that change, you will still want to go into the Elementor theme builder to access the content. So I can go into header and click add new. I can say I want to do a header. Create the template. And I'm just going to close this. And instead, I'm going to click the Buddy Boss icon. And under sections, we can click on header. And let's say I pick header two. I'll insert that. And you can see the section automatically added various widgets in here. So it added a nav menu and it added the header bar. So I'll go to nav menu. It's gonna default to buddy panel, which is not what you want up here. It just does that because it goes alphabetical and takes the first one. So of course you'll want to switch that to your title bar and I can click publish and then I have to add a condition. If I do it by default, it will be on the entire site or I could go to say singular pages and I could set a specific page that I want that to display on. If I want to add a custom footer, it's going to work the same way. I go into footer and click add new. name it whatever I want. And again, they're going to launch us into the Elementor library of their own sections. I'm going to close that and click the Buddy Boss icon again. And from here, I'll go to footer and I can pick one of our footer sections if you want to use one. 
and insert. And again, the section is compiling various widgets together to put it together. You can go into this nav menu. Again, it's defaulting to body panel. You could set it to title bar or register some other menu to display in the footer. And when you're happy with it, you click publish. You can add conditions like displaying it on the entire site, or again, you can drill down and display it on only specific pages. And then for a hero one, this isn't technically added as a header. It's actually added just as a section within the page. So I'm gonna edit this one and click edit with Elementor. And I'm gonna delete what I already had and click our Buddy Boss icon. And I can click on hero and insert a hero. And it'll add that section onto the page. Again, we wanna go in here into the nav menu widget and you'll probably wanna change this to your title bar. And you can go in here and swap your logo and everything else. And I think it's worth mentioning again that you need to set the correct page layout. So it's especially true for the hero ones. If I set it to default, which is what will happen when you first set up a page with a hero, it's gonna look like this, which is not really great. And so you wanna go in here and change it. Even if you select Elementor full width, it's going to be kind of weird because you now have like a double header. So what I would do is set it as Elementor Canvas. And then it takes over everything. So this is really good for a kind of sales page or landing page. Now, if you want this huge hero to be on every page or to be on multiple pages and also have the buddy panel on the left, you could create this as a header template, but I think it makes more sense on just a specific page. So that's why I'd suggest just putting it on that page and then making that page an Elementor Canvas layout so you get the full width type of experience like this. All right, so I think you guys are gonna really love these updates. We worked really hard on creating these widgets and working with our designers to make all these beautiful layouts. And as I mentioned, there's two other tutorials, one specifically for the user dashboard and another one is for the new LearnDash widgets. Between all these different widgets and the pre-built sections, it's going to make it really easy for you guys to create these beautiful logged out pages. And again, over time, we will be adding more and more widgets and especially more pre-built pages to make it just easier and easier for you guys to create really beautiful layouts in Elementor on your communities.